Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is just me coming to you for a moment to say, um, well, I guess I don't need to go to the internet part because I just want to see you for a minute. This rainy weather has got my hair a mess, so I just have it tied up. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. OBS, uh, no, it's not OBS, excuse me. The powers that be keep cutting my videos off. Thankfully, the links are in the description box. The last link shown is the video that was playing. And it shows the visualization of what it will be like when this fault line cracks apart and this piece of land falls into the ocean and for the person who put virginia beach will not get a tsunami you don't know what you're talking about because you don't know the science behind it so i would suggest you click on the link the very last link in my description box and watch his visualization because science has already, this has been being talked about uh, 10 years ago, we were expecting this. But then everything settled down, and there was no more activity. So, pe you know, people quit talking about it. Well, there were already prophecies put out by, a, a, he was a guy from Puerto Rico, if I'm not mistaken. He notified the governors of Puerto Rico. They had started preparing way back then. Okay, he got the word from the Lord that these tsunamis were coming to the eastern coast of the United States. They would cover Puerto Rico. Florida would be underwater. It will come up the Gulf of Mexico, push up into the um, New Madrid Fault, cause it to crack. All that water would go up. And guess what? The United States Navy has already mapped it out. Of what they expect the USA will look like and Virginia Beach will no longer be there so if you choose to not heed the warning people any of you that live along the eastern states the eastern states we don't know how far it's gonna come in the Navy's map might be right I don't know why this is so choppy and why this can't videotape me like my other computer used to but it doesn't and, and I'm sorry for that if it's hard to watch and if you can't always understand me or because the powers that be keep messing with me <sighs> why do you keep cutting off my videos YouTube every single video that I have reviewed to the end is cut off. Y'all missed my preaching and the Lord's Prayer. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just ranting a little bit. And letting you know. They wouldn't be doing it. If I wasn't somebody to mess with. I'm not bragging. I'm just telling you. Don't ignore these warnings. Repent of your sins. Make Jesus Christ your Savior. And do not think that just because we're in the United States that this island 700, whatever the mileage was, it has to be more than that. 700 miles off the coast of Africa. But several thousand from us will not affect us because in that demonstration that got cut off first the man shows a cartoon like which is the picture I chose for the thumbnail for my last video it shows how the rippling effect the the rock the piece of land forces the water which forces the next bunch of water which forces the next bunch of water water is heavy and I mentioned this to my neighbor. Had his, there's some old apartment buildings behind us. And he had his window open and he was sitting on the ledge. 
and he was tipsy to say the very least he knows what kind of person I am so he starts off with oh hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord isn't it a wonderful day I ended up telling him that I was upload in the process of uploading a video about the Canary Islands that's about to break off and cause a tsunami on the eastern coast of the United States. And he starts telling me, you sound like a crazy old woman. And the demonic part of him came out. Yeah. It wasn't nice. I told him, yeah, and you're drunk. You don't know what you're talking about. And the scenario I gave him was imagine a man doing a cannonball into a swimming pool. Have anybody been standing by a, at a pool party? Or, you know, it could be a nice pool party. It doesn't have to be a Hollywood pool party. And somebody does a cannonball. And all that water comes out of the pool and gets everybody wet. How does that happen? A man weighing maybe 200 pounds. But he balls himself up till he's a compact little cannonball. And he hits the water from about 10 feet up. And all of this water gets displaced. And everybody standing around the pool gets wet to some degree. Now that's a very miniature example. Now you take a big piece of land and it slides with the force this man talks about in the last video that got cut off into the ocean. And the first bunch of water that gets affected around it or, see you don't get to see but a little portion of me so I can't really use my hands to do what he's doing so watch the video. But the first bunch of water affects the next bunch of water, which affects the next bunch of water, which affects the next bunch of water, until it builds. Because water is heavy. And once it gets started, nothing is going to stop it until it hits land. Remember the movie Deep Impact? Hollywood's always telling us what's going to happen in the future. Independence Day about the aliens there's going to be a fake alien invasion they're not really aliens they're Nephilim and fallen angels probably not Nephilim because Nephilim are half human half fallen angel but the fallen angels will take have already taken the form they look like the greys and reptilians that you've seen in other alien movies from Hollywood because Satan uses Hollywood to tell us what he plans to do in the future and we're there we are there this future is now we are in the days of Noah when the Nephilim was mixing iron with clay okay wait a minute the fallen angels were taking human women, having babies. They were became giants, men, mighty men of renown. That means they were well known because they were so big. Look at Trump's son. He's only 15 years old. I think there's Nephilim blood in one of those two, if not both, the mother and the father. Do you know where Melania came from? Research it yourself. If I don't have a link to put down, I don't want to say. But I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Created. Anyway. Now what's going on? Most recent. Iron mixed with clay is talked about in Jan uh, the book of John uh, Daniel. I have to look up that scripture and put it in the description box where iron is mixed with clay. Iron, metal, metallic parts mixed with man. 
That's why people are making videos of metal parts sticking to their arms, their chest, their heads, and magnets. So part of it is magnetic. Part of it is metal. Part of it is magnetic. So they're gonna it's gonna go through your bloodstream and come together and form part of the nanobots inside of you. Those who are medically ready to stay in a campsite for travelers getting away from the tsunami. You get a drift. So I don't know how much of this they're going to cut off. So I'm just going to keep talking about stuff. As a matter of fact, let's go online and find that scripture. Let me go up here and pull up um, a search. Scripture about iron mixed with clay. Let's just go find it. Okay, Daniel 2, 43. As you saw the iron mixed with clay. All right, let me go to Daniel chapter 2. Start with verse 40. We'll go to Blue Letter Bible. Daniel chapter 2, 40. Blue, there we go. Blue Letter Bible. Daniel 2. Nope. Why? What? How does that happen? We'll start with 40. Daniel had a vision, and now an angel is interpreting it. I believe is how it is going. The king had a dream. That's right. King had a dream. Daniel is interpreting it. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron. For as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things, and as iron that breaketh all, th all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise. Hmm, what's the kingdom of iron? I think it's the fallen angels in their underworld where they're working. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of the potter's clay, Who's the potter? God. God is the potter. He told Job, I am the potter. You are the clay. Who are you to ask me? What is, am I doing? Were you there when I put Orion up in the sky? Were you there when I set the Pleiades in the air? He's saying, talking about the star uh, constellations that he created. For us to tell times and seasons and years and months and days. He put the sun, the stars, the sun, the moon, and the stars in the sky. They're in the sky. And they're not as far away as you think they are. They're under the firmament that the Father put over us. Okay, enough of that. I don't want to get into flat earth preaching because I don't have it memorized. I can't do it. Okay. And whereas thou sawest the feet of toes, part of the potter's clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron He's wearing down the saints, ain't he? He's strong. For as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay, and as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. Just like in the days of Noah. But they shall not cleave one to another. Even as iron is not mixed 
with clay. The wheat is being separated from the tares. Those who don't trust God enough to keep them well, or don't believe in him at all, and want their life back, they don't want to wear masks anymore, so they took the medicine made by Satan and his minions and the men working for him. And those who refused, well, some of us know what it is. Some just don't want any part of what it might do to them as they see people dropping dead and getting very, very sick from it. And is the kingdom not divided? Are the wheat not separated from the tares? Oh, they are here. I'm only one of two people who didn't take the medicine and boy howdy. Don't let me walk into their crowd. Back up. Back up. Put your mask on. Oh yeah, not everybody. Just a few that are bold enough to speak up. Now, I said all that because I know this is going to get cut off because it's the end. Alright, so I'm going back to OBS. And I'm going to say, make Jesus Christ your Savior if you haven't. Repent of your sins if you need to. Do it daily. Praise Him. Worship Him. Love Him. Commit to him. Obey him. Obey his word. When he says to forgive one another, he means it. When he says to love your neighbor as yourself, he means it. And he said to love me most, and he means it. Get rid of your worldly junk. It might be things. It might be souvenirs. That's things. It might be attitudes. It might be lusts of the flesh. Making you sick. Like overeating. Over drinking. Smoking. Doing drugs. <sighs> okay, I'm going to end this with the Lord's Prayer. Please pray it with me. If you know it. And if you want to. Our Father. Who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Let your kingdom come. And let your will be done. On this earth. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive me Lord. For my sins. And I will forgive those who hurt me. Or sin against me. And lead me not into temptation. But deliver me from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I pray I see you soon. And I pray that we're all found worthy. I pray that all my subscribers are found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Don't be ignorant. Don't be stupid. Listen to the warnings. Listen to the prophecies. This has been being prophesied for a long time it will come to pass maybe not this week maybe not next week but just listen to what's happening and who got what word I love you my brothers and sisters in Christ and I can't wait to meet you and give you all a great big hug. Even those who don't no longer follow me. But used to. But because of all the politics. And garbage going on. YouTube. They're no longer on YouTube.